An unexpected and devastating news came for almost 80 workers in Buffalo today. A company that has been held up as a success of the governor's development programs abruptly closed. Good evening. I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello everyone. I'm Scott Levin. Bach USA had been showing some signs of problems for months, but its largest shareholder told us just over a month ago that it was not in any serious trouble. Two on your sides, Kelly Dudzik is following the breaking news for us tonight. What's the latest, Kelly? Well, Scott and Mary Alice, it was just in September that the company confirmed shareholders reached an agreement in principle for a management buyout of the firm. Back USA made laptops and tablets and opened in 2015 in Buffalo with 15 employees. It was one of the first companies to be approved for Governor Cuomo's Startup New York Tax Free Zone program. In June, the company cut its staff by almost 10 percent. The largest shareholder, former Buffalo Sabres owner Tom Golisano, told us in September that rumors the company was in dire financial straits were false. Owner J.P. Bach told me in early 2017 that the Buffalo headquarters would grow to a workforce of 100 to 150. In an email, a company spokesperson said tonight that Bach said, quote, the business did not reach the point of profitability necessary to sustain itself. The additional unanticipated expenses associated with the tariffs imposed by the White House were a deciding factor in our ultimate decision to close. We got reaction to this news this afternoon from Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown. It puts an incredible strain on people. Uh, I wish this federal policy was different uh, than it is. Unfortunately, uh, these tariffs that have been imposed have consequences. And in the case of Bach USA, a, an American uh, tablet manufacturer, the consequences have been devastating. The company issued that written statement and said it would offer no further comment, but we have a lot of questions about what happened. So I requested an on-camera interview with someone from Back USA this afternoon, and I haven't gotten a response. I'll continue to follow this story. I'll have another update for you tonight at 6. But again, 77 people are without jobs tonight. Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.